In this lesson, we're going to take a look at verifying that you have a Java development kit. There are two types of Java installation that can exist on a computer. The first one, and the one that we need, is a full Java development kit, or JDK. In a JDK, you have tools for both running programs and for writing them yourself. The other type of Java environment is intended just for end users who wish to run Java programs written by other people. This one is called a JRE, or Java Runtime Environment. The crucial difference is whether or not you have a compiler. Let's take a look at how you would make that determination. To do this, you need to bring up a command line tool. In a Windows environment, there is a command line tool called CMD, and you can run that from the Start menu. In here, in the Mac, we have a terminal, and to determine whether I have a Java installation, the first thing I need to type is Java minus version. And that will tell me if the response comes back, Java version and then some version number, then I at least have some level of Java installed on my machine. In this case, I have Java 1.6, and that's sufficient for our needs. If you have something newer than that with a higher number, 1.7 or, or so on, then that's fine too. Another possibility is that you might get a response that indicates that Java is not installed. That will be something like command not found. Assuming you do have a Java command available to you, the next command we need to verify is the Java C command. And again, we're going to type Java C minus version. Two things need to happen here. The first one is that we need to see that we get a Java C response rather than a command not found. If the command is not found, then you have a JRE perhaps, but no JDK, and we need a full JDK. The second thing is that we need to be sure that we have the same version number for Java C as we had for Java itself. If any of these things don't work out right, then we're going to need to download a Java development kit. To download a Java development kit, we need to take our browser and go to Oracle's website. Oracle, of course, is now the owner of Java, so we'll start by clicking on the Downloads link. From Downloads, fairly near the top of this page, you'll see under Browse by Category, Java. And within Java, what we need is Java SE. That stands for Standard Edition. So click on that link. We have a number of different versions and releases of Java to choose from. Choose the Java Platform Standard Edition and make sure you select a JDK. Click on the download link, and that will take you to a page that you can choose which particular platform you're downloading it for. The first thing you'll have to do on this page is accept the license agreement. Then you can take a look at the available platform support files and decide which of these is most appropriate to your environment. So in my case, I'm running Mac OS X, and I would click on this version with the DMG package. For the Windows users, we have the exe files down here for 32 and 64-bit binaries. Download that file, run the install through your regular operating system commands, and Java will be up and running for you. And that's it. That should get a running version of the Java development kit on your machine.